I am super excited to share with you guys this very traditional Vietnamese coconut cassava cake, completely gluten-free, and it was definitely such a staple in my household as a kid. But my parents never actually made it. We definitely bought it from the Vietnamese bakery, but we're gonna make this one and in two flavors. This is our cassava root. We're gonna start by cutting chunks of it. It's a really waxy root. We're gonna cut chunks and then peel it. If you haven't had cassava before, ask yourself if you've had yuca, like yuca fries, they're so tasty, or use any kind of tapioca starch. It's one of those vegetables that's like miracle vegetable and it makes a lot of cool products. So all I'm gonna do is lay it on the flat and then peel off the waxy skin. It's okay if you take a lot of the skin off because it's pretty thick. You can buy cassava or yucca root in most grocery stores where they have kind of like their tropical root section. So like where the sweet potatoes are or sometimes they have it even frozen. So we have some of it frozen here, but we're gonna also grate and use some fresh yucca. I think my arm's gonna fall off, but the hard part is done. You can always use a food processor if you want and you have like the grater attachment, but I just feel like there's a little bit more love and obviously a little bit more manual labor if you do it by hand. Now it's so easy, it's literally just combining our ingredients. So in total, you want 1140 grams of cassava. I'm using a combination of the freshly grated and frozen already grated cassava about one cup of frozen grated young coconut. You don't want that old coconut. Two thirds of a cup of sugar. Three egg whites plus three large eggs. 13 ounces, which is conveniently one can of coconut milk. 12 ounces of evaporated milk, which is conveniently also one can. 14 ounces, which is conveniently also one can of condensed milk. All right, then mix it up real good. Guys, I know this batter is looking really weird right now, but trust me, it's gonna turn out so great. We're going to divide this batter into half. I use a scale to be exact, so we can flavor one half with pandan concentrate which almost mimics an aromatic coconut flavor. It's super popular in Asian desserts. I add about half a teaspoon. A little bit goes a long way. You can get any of these ingredients mentioned above at an Asian market. To line the bottom of our eight inch pan, I fold a piece of parchment paper back on itself using the center as a pivot point. I line it up with the center of the pan and trim away the extra. Unfold and ta-da! I actually also made two. I spray the pan with some oil and place the parchment circles inside. Pour your batter in and I wrap our pans with wet tea towels as these puppies are thick. This is a trick I've talked about before to help with even baking. Bake at 350 for about an hour and a half. Then 
the cake will be firm once it's done. Cassava root is so magical. Remove the tea towels and let it cool for at least two hours. It's time to cut into our beautiful traditional Vietnamese coconut cassava cake, also gluten free. So as it cools down, you can see that it starts to shrink a little bit. So you actually have quite a bit of room. I just used the paring knife there to trace around your cake. We're gonna flip it out and it's so easy because of the paper we put in the bottom. It actually smells amazing. It's super coconutty. Okay, so we're gonna cut it into first half. And as soon as you cut it, you can smell like this beautiful coconut aroma from the shredded coconut, but also from the pandan that we used. So now that it's in quarters, it's in quarters, we're going to cut them into thirds. The texture is exactly what we want. It's a little bit of chewy from the yuca. You can feel the pieces of coconut and just keep turning and cutting. Okay, we're gonna pull out a slice. Mm, so pretty. I think we should try this one. This is super traditional Vietnamese. If you're Vietnamese, this is gonna take you back to your banh mi days for sure. If you're not Vietnamese, the coconut is beautiful. It's not too sweet. It has a little bit of like that richness from the condensed milk. This is so good. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and eat cake. I am the Bake Boss.